What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. Okay. Alrighty. What's up, guys? Yes, in our last episode, we had a busy one. We captured a new Pokemon in, uh, what was it again? What was his name? Yeah, Shroomly. That's right. Shroomly, the Shroomish. We are in Route Wet. 104? 105? No, 104, yes. We are in Route 104, and, uh, yes. We are continuing our adventure right here to Rustboro City. It's gonna be a nice one. Yes, it will. And to begin with this episode, we're gonna talk to this individual right here. He's like, I like filling my mouth with seeds, then spitting them out fast. You can have this, so you can try it out! Use it on a Pokemon. Or, use it on a Pokemon, and it will learn to move firing seeds rapidly. So we got the, we got ourselves a TM-09. Very first TM right here. And he's like, the word of advice. A TM, technical machine, is only good once. Once you, once you use it, it's gone. Think twice before using it. Well, I got the Pokemon. I got the Pokemon for that job right there. So let's get that TM right there. Bullet Seed, who should I give it to? Yes, I'm giving it to Shroomly right here because, you know, Absorb and Tackle or whatever move it has, not going to be enough for this first gym battle. And uh, let's see, going right here, got two cherry berries, so I'm going to pick these things apart right here, you know, just to fill up on our, our berries and all that stuff. And no, I do not want to bury anything right now. And two Oran berries, also good stuff right there, very, very good stuff. Now, here's a thing right here, place, let's see, the pretty, uh, the pretty petal flower shop, wow, try saying that five times. I'm going to go up here and see what it's all about. It's about flowers. Look at that. All flowers and stuff. And talk to this girl. She's like, hello. This is the pretty petal flower shop. Spreading flowers all over the world. Your name is? Draven. That's a nice name. Draven, would you like to learn about berries? Why, yes, I do. Berries grow on trees that thrive only on, in soft, loamy soil. If you, take, uh, if you take some berries, be sure to plant one in the loamy, uh, the loamy soil again. A planted berry will soon sprout, grow into a plant, flower beautifully, then grow berries again. I want to see the whole world, wide world filled with beautiful flowers. That's my dream. Please help me, Draven. Plant berries and bring more flowers into the world. Okay. All right. I can do that. I can do that. It seems like an easy task right here. And talk to the, her. She's like, hello. The more attention you give to flowers, the more beautifully they bloom. You'll like turning, or you'll like tending flowers. I'm sure of it. You can have this, and we get ourselves the Waymer Pale, which is a must because it will actually help the flowers, you know, sprout that kind of stuff. And let's see, while berry plants are growing, water them with the Waymer Pale. Oh, another thing: if you don't pick berries for a while, they'll drop off into the ground. They'll and but they'll sprout again. Isn't that awesome? It's like they they have to, or they have the will to live. True. This is so true, and I'm trying to be like my big sisters. I'm growing flowers too. Here you go. It's for you. We got ourselves a person berry. Don't know what that does because it's been a while. And uh, okay, something candies. I want some candies too. Yeah, you can make uh, these. You can make these berries into into candy and all that kind of stuff. So enough of that. Route 104. There's a few things right here that you can actually find. Of course, another pokeball. I don't think I won't be capturing any other Pokemon for a while right here. And we found ourselves another potion. Which is also good right there. And uh, there's nothing right there. I know there's there's like two or three things around here. Let's see. We got this Pokemon right now. Poochiana. Look at all mean and all that stuff. But Shroomly right here. Eh, well, I'll, I'll spare you the troll right now. Let's see. Found ourselves another super potion. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And uh, let's see. No, there's nothing else right here. So I think I, well, I, I've already gotten everything else right there. And, uh, well, another Wurmple. Gotta love them Wurmples, right? Alright, so we're gonna just run away right here. Ready to use my Shroom Leaf for its first battle, just don't know who to use it on. And, uh, let's see. Trainer tips! In Hoenn region, there are, pair of, uh, there are pairs of trainers who challenge others on, for two-on-two -two battle, Pokemon battles called Double Battles. In a double battle, the trainer must send out two Pokemon, and the one at the left of the list and the one on the top. Watch how Pokemon are lined up. Okay, let's see how many Pokemon we got. Okay, so we got Swamp Lord right here, Shroomly, Gaia, and Shadow. So right now, we're going to keep, uh, you know, Swamp Lord around just because it's our strongest Pokemon now. Here we go. Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of Pokemon. I have a lot of money. Okay. 
So we're kind of hurting for money right now. Let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. He's like, Rich Boy Winston wants the battle. Comes out with his Zigzagoon. I'm coming out with a Shroom Lee right here. All right. Let's see what these uh, let's see what these moves can do. And this guy is just growling at us. What is that going to do to us? Nothing. Nothing at all. So here we go. Bullet Seed. That's right. Bullet Seed again. Bullet Seed again. Okay, three times. All right. So this is going to be... It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while because, uh, yeah, Shroom Lee barely got our Pokemon right here. Yeah, it's going to be a while. So here we go again with another uh, Bullet Seed. Come on. Oh, that was... Wow, seriously? Two times? Let's absorb. That's, uh, that's a nice uh, attack right there, but... You know what? Absorb. I'm going to get all my HP right there. Look at that. It's a good thing to have Grass-type Pokemon right here, which, of course, I don't normally have. And this guy has a full Restore. So we're going to we're gonna be here for quite some time battling this guy. And uh, let's go again. Really? Growl? <sighs> God. Okay, so I might have to switch it out right here because two Growls is enough for my Shroomly. Shroomly, only level 5. Not a lot of stuff right now. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch him out to Swamp Lord. That's right. Swamp Lord will destroy you, Zigzagoon. There's that uh, tackle attack that doesn't really do much right there. So here we go with the water gun. And that's the end of that chapter right there for Zigzagoon. And yeah, we're both gaining experience points. Look at that. He's feeling bad. He's like, why couldn't I win? You didn't have enough, uh, enough full restores, bro. And of course, because he's rich, he gave us a nice amount of change right there. And oh, dang. She caught me off guard right there. And she's like, should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure, I will battle. All right, bring it on. Bring it on, sister. All right. So here we go. Last Haley would like to battle, and she's coming out with her low Ted right here. And uh, Shroom Lee. Got enough experience points, but I need to switch out right now. So let's go with Gaia right here, because... Hey, yeah, Mudkip can't do much against this low tad right here. And uh, there's that swift swim, and oh god, you gotta you gotta love those growl attacks. You have to. So here we go, confusion attack. Oh uh, yeah, can't really do much right there because it's a confusion attack. Confusion attack, special attack. That's attack. And uh, there we go. Say goodbye to Lotad right there. And uh, would you look at that? Look at that. Gross to level 6. Gaia's getting some points. And he's going to come out with a Shroomish. So I'm going to I'm gonna stay put right here with Gaia right here. So here's that Shroomish. Let's go. Confusion. No. No. <laughs> come on. Here we go. Confusion attack. Does not finish him off right now. Jeez. If only you were a fighting type Pokemon. Pretty soon here. Very, very soon. And there you go. Another defeat. Gaia getting experience points. And look at that. I shouldn't have battled. You probably shouldn't have, but hey, you know what? You tried your best, babe. Let's move on. And as you can see, this tree right here is making our life miserable. We don't have that cut technique yet. And there's the double battles that they were talking about. Okay, so I'm going to go with Shroomly in Swamp Lord right here now. In Generation 3, hold on just a sec, guys. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. Right here. Bring it on. Gina and Mia coming out. And they're coming out with their C-Dot and Lotad. So I'm kind of... I am kind of at a disadvantage right now. Okay. How are we going to do this? Hmm. Tackle attack that guy. And tackle attack to that guy. We're just going to, you know, barrage one Pokemon at a time with tackles. And look at that. Critical hit right there. So like I was trying to say, and whoa, Shroom Lee, level 7. Oh, dang. Growing levels. Look at that. All right. And ooh, Swamp Lord. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. Okay. All righty. So in Generation 3, you guys probably already noticed this. Uh, there is or there are double battles in uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. There's only like a, a nice handful of double battles that you can get into, but once you get into Pokemon Emerald, it, it well it expands exponentially right here, especially in in Pokemon Gyms. I think they they like to make it a point right there, and uh, we battle together, but we 
both lost. That's right. You guys lost. You guys suck. So like I was saying, in Pokemon Emerald, double battles are, you know, there's more emphasis in double battles right here. Not only that, but there are moves that you can actually use that will hit two po opponents at a time, which we will get into later on. So I'm going to stick by right here, and we're going to take this guy on. He's like, why keep it a secret? I'm a water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me? Never heard your name. No sir, bomb. Let's do this. Fisherman Ivan would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Magikarp. And luckily for me, I do have a grass side Pokemon for this. So let's go with Absorbs. Ooh, ooh, oh yeah, yeah. That 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 really affected me in such a way. I am hurt beyond belief, and wow, that was a super effective. And I heal myself completely right there. So we're gonna continue on right here. And uh, ready. More absorb attacks. You gotta love that absorb attack right there. And, uh, well, say goodbye to Magikarp. No more Magikarp right there. And, uh, Shroom Lee is just growing level. Or is it just gonna. It's gonna grow. It's gonna be right there with, uh, with both Shadow and, uh, Gaia. So, it should be, uh, should be a good Pokemon. You know, in the long run and all that stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna be switching up, uh, you know, with the Pokemon and all that stuff. And, uh, wow. Still hasn't finished this guy off right here. So we go again with another splash. And here we go, absorb attack. Oh yeah. No more magic carp because I defeated you. And look at that, Shroom Lee, level eight. And he's coming out with another magic carp. So uh, you know what? I'm gonna just stick by. You know, I gotta get this. I gotta get this for Shroom Lee. And uh, here we go. Of course, Magikarp is faster. Fast as hell. So here we go. Absorb attack. There we go. And uh, does not make it faint right away, which I'm pretty used to. So let's go right ahead and do this one more time. Oh, come on. Come on. Absorb attack. And uh, just like that, another Magikarp bites the dust. How is this guy a water Pokemon expert? How? I thought it wasn't too bad, if I may say so, but I guess not. Bleh. Dude, you suck. I'm going to go away. Let's go ahead and grab this. We found two cherry berries right here. Yes, we're going to grab those cherry berries because, you know, we should water the plants and do everything to, you know, put more flowers in the world. And here we got Lepa berries. Mm-hmm. That's right, and there's this old lady right here. Let's go ahead and talk to her. It's like, if you see berries growing in loamy soil, feel free to take them. But make sure to plant a berry in the same spot. It's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. Okay. I I guess I should be ber planting berries. Okay, I'm not talking to you. I am just taking the berries. Um, Let's see. There's a little entrance right here, so let's go ahead and grab that little item that's right here. So here we are in Respro City, the outskirts of it, and uh, grab this, and here we have an X Defend. Pretty good stuff. Good, 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 you know, we're, we're doing good stuff right here. Now we're not in Rustboro City, because look at that, we're in Route 104, and here we are back in Rustboro City. Look at that. We're in, we're out nothing about now there's a few places that you can come in here and just visit so we're, we're just gonna get started right now and you know try and find all these places I know that there's a Pokemon gym right here we're not going there it's gonna be in the next episode but we're gonna just grab a few items maybe battle a few trainers along the way here we have this lady she's like the Devon Corporation workers live in this building okay that's pretty cool I guess I don't know let's see Talk to this guy. My daddy's working for the Devon or for the corporation. My daddy made this, but I can't use it, so you can have it. We got ourselves a premier ball. Okay. Uh, my daddy's working on corporation, but I grew up in a. Okay, I don't want to work for Devon. And this guy right here, way back in the old days, Devon was just a teeny tiny company. It is true. Uh, if you guys are wondering what the, uh, the premier ball does, it does nothing. It's like a pokeball. It's just a shiny pokeball. That's what it is. And uh, let's see. Go right here. Devon President likes to collect rare stones. That's cool. That's cool. I think the President's son also likes to collect rare stones. Hmm. Thank you for telling me. I did not care. Really didn't. So let's just get the heck out of here. Let's just get the heck out of here, okay? 
few items that you can get. I'm just going to show you right now. We're going to spend the whole episode just showing you guys. And uh, let's see. Rustboro City. The city probing in the integration of nature and science. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, Pokemon changes shape. If, if if one did that, I would be shocked. Hmm. If a Pokemon gains experience in battles, it can sometimes change in its way it looks. Okay, yes, it's talking about evolution right here. Now, if we go right here, I want to say it's the Cup Master, right? Wrong. And for my own Pokemon, I give them perfectly suited nicknames. It's my expression of uh, origin originality. Yes, that's it. Okay. I do that too. But giving my... Uh, but giving the nickname Pikachu to Pikachu, it seems pointless. I suppose it's good. It's gonna be... Oh, wow. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, that, that was bad right there. Like, Pikachu to Pikachu. He's just changing the letters. That's all he's doing, okay? Now, let's see. This guy, my old... Uh, the old sailor, Mr. Brownie, Briny, lives in the cottage by the sea. He goes for walks in the tunnel every uh, so often. Okay. And if you go right here, guys, this is the Cutter's house. And talk to this guy. He's like that determined expression, that limber way you move, and your so and your well-trained Pokemon. Barely, you're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can just tell. I can just I can tell it just by the by looking at you. I'm sure you. Uh, I'm sure you can put the, uh, this hidden machine to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on and take it. And here we have our very first HM, which is cut. And he's like, that's a hidden machine, or an HM for short is cut. An HM move is one of the is one that can be used by Pokemon outside of battle. Any Pokemon that you that's learned a cut can chop down um, thin trees if the trainer has earned a stone badge. And unlike ATM, an HM can be used more than once, which is true. That is cool. Unfortunately, we don't have the stone badge, so we can't use that. And when they, let's see, when they were expanding the city of Rustboro, my dad helped out. We made his Pokemon use Cut to clear the land of trees. Okay. Good man. Good man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will not be flipping you off. And, uh, let's see. Of course, the very first city with the, the very first gym that we're going to go to always has a trainer school. Let's go and, yeah, let's go and learn a few things about people and stuff. As you can see, there are students right here, and this guy, he is the teacher. He's just going to be looking around. He's like, looking left, looking right. That's right. Pretty cool teacher. Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. Hmm, okay, so we got a quick claw right there. It's a good, uh, good item. That way, you know... That way, uh, yeah, our slowest Pokemon can actually attack. And if we go right here, let's see, what, what would happen? Let's see. The trainer school is excellent. If you study there, you can even become a gym leader. Okay. Roxanne, the gym leader, really knows a lot about her Pokemon. She's really strong, too. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Hmm, like they were talking about... Yes, there is a gym right here, and I think we didn't visit this one part right here. I think we could find a few things, I think. I don't know. Every Pokemon has a special ability they can use, that's true. And uh, strange creatures, yes. Of course, I'm going all like I'm, I'm just trying to show you guys everything you can see right here. I'm just trying to find items as well. Whoa, that, that, that right there is pretty cool. Oh, it's so, so hard every day. What's so hard, you need to ask? It's trying to figure out what to make for meals every day. It really isn't easy coming up with the meals every day. That is true. That is true, guys. Oh, hello. Welcome to the pe the, pep the Pepper household. I have a question for you. Have you ever babysat? Yes, I have. You see, I'm a new father, and so raising a child is all new to me. And I have a problem. My daughter, Walda, really, Walda, doesn't laugh enough. I think she laughed, uh, she laughed for me if I told her something funny. Do you know of any funny word or phrase that you can tell me? Well, I know a few. <laughs> I know a few. Oh, so we could spell it out. Okay, alrighty. Okay. So, this is probably the only time I'm probably going to do some kind of like a... I'm probably going to do something uh, naughty right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Kuyakak. Let's see, Wisconsin, Seattle, that's a funny word, <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, not Walla Walla, 
Should be something funny. Should ah, here we go. If you guys probably already know, I am also a football coach, and this is exactly what I call. This is also what I call my players. Here we go. Slap dick. Here we go. Here we go. Slap dick. Ah, I see. Well, let's try it, shall we? Slap dick. Slap dick. Hmm, she's not smiling at all. Maybe while this is a serious child. You have no freaking... Yeah, you have no freaking humor. I know for a fact that we have to find a different word. I have no time to figure that out. So let's just get the heck out of here. Alrighty. Alrighty, so let's see. What do we got? Talk to this guy. Can get... Oh, yes. Grow faster and all that stuff. Yes, you can actually trade Pokemon in this too. And like you said, yeah, they grow fast and you don't want that. Now, speaking of trade, if you go right here to this guy. It's like, in all sorts of places, there are... All sorts of Pokemon people I find them fascinating, so I should go to all sorts of places. Now, if you talk to this guy, huh, Pokemon so cute, sure I then. Okay, but if, if you really want, I'm willing to trade it to you. I'll trade my seed out for a, uh, for a Ralt if you want. I do have a Ralt. I don't want to trade him. Why? Because it's part of my team. Sorry, bro. And I already caught a seed out, so I really don't want to trade my Pokemon right here. And uh, let's see, there is the gym. Talk to this, and he's like, oh, the rocks, uh, Rustboro City gym. Leader Roxanne, the rock loving honor student. Huh, I'm pretty sure she's a teacher. And uh, let's see, Devon Corporation, we all just shorten it to Devon. That company makes all sorts of convenient products. And we got a few extra routes right here, and uh, let's see, time saving tunnel near completion is. What it says in the sign, but there's also a big S X splash onto it. Okay, so we're not going anywhere right now. Let's go. Let's go ahead and take one more visit right here, and uh, to the Devon Corporation, see what it does. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hey, those running shoes—they're one of our products. It makes me happy when I see someone using something we made. Pretty cool, huh? Hello, and welcome to the Devon Corporation. We're proud producers of items and medicine that, to enhance your life. That is true. And as you can see, we can't go any further right here because, it's like, yeah, authorized personnel is only allowed right there. Wait until later on, guys. Just wait. Just be patient and all that stuff. So that's pretty much it for Rustboro City and all the action at Route 104. What we're going to do is we're going to pause it right here. In the next episode, yes, we will be battling Roxanne for our very first badge. And uh, hopefully that will be awesome for you guys right here. So... Stay tuned, guys. I'll see you guys next week on Monday for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. See you guys.